Hello, everybody say hi to, yeah, I think drama queen should be her title, right? and welcome back to my channel welcome to our annual handbag collection video and oh my god we have over 40 bags i think i got like 43 bags at the moment so but first of all before we get into today's video i want to say we got a sponsor so idol again you guys know i love working with idol i wear their jewelry pieces all the time they are kindly sponsoring today's video and i got three new pieces first of all when you get something from idol guys this is how your package is shipped and oh, i love it they always give me like a little personal note. It is absolutely beautiful. Christmas is coming up, guys. This could be the perfect gift for your mom, for anyone in your family, for yourself. <laughs> All of Idol's pieces are made out of 14 karat gold and love grown diamonds. Obviously, love grown diamonds are a way kinder alternative to mined diamonds. I really love their pouches as well. I just use them as like cosmetic pouches when I travel. Here we are, idol. I got three billies because I wanted to create a new look. You can just always change the add-on. So you have like one diamond stud. This is the biggest one that they have. <laughs> um, and then you can always choose different add-ons and create, you know, amazing different looks. I got my Lena necklace right here. Absolutely love it. I love layering their necklaces. And here we are again. Oh, I mean, look at this. It's absolutely incredible. I love it. These are the Billy add-ons and I got three of them for the necklace and the two earrings. What a perfect look for New Year's and Christmas, right? Let me even come a little bit closer so that you can see these beautiful pieces. So to the naked eye, guys, there's absolutely no difference between lab-grown diamonds and real diamonds. Also, I'm just going to put all of Ida's information in the description box below. You're going to find the link there to their website and I'm going to link all these individual pieces as well. So definitely go and have a look. Okay, guys, so for all the other years I just did like random picks of my collection and I think this time round we're just gonna do it brand by brand and I would say let's start with Louis Vuitton because Louis Vuitton for me just like for so many people was my first love when it comes to designer handbags. I always like to start off my videos with this beauty because this was my first ever designer handbag. The first ever bag I bought that started that whole craziness and this is the Louis Vuitton Mirada in the color Amarante and I absolutely love it. It's like a, in certain lights, you can see it here, it almost looks black but then you know you have the ring light shining onto this bag now and it's like a dark purple aubergine warm purple color. I'm gonna put modeling shots up again <laughs> with my bag so that you can get a better idea of how they look like, how big or small they are on the body basically. So yeah, this was number one and I will never ever get rid of her because she's just so special. You can see like the hardware has oxidized a little bit, but I mean, I got this baby in 2012. <laughs> so, oh my God, yeah, it's 10 years ago. I've been collecting bags for 10 years now. Hmm. Next up is my Louis Vuitton Pasadena bag, and this is in the color magenta. And it's the same kind of vanille leather. I love vanille leather. Um, I love patent leather because, you know, I live in London. It's raining quite often. You don't have to worry about it. You know, if it rains, you just basically wipe it dry and everything's perfect and good. So this little baby, I will never get rid of either. I think it is absolutely stunning. Even comes with feet. And, you know, you can just wear it as a little top handle bag. And, oh, yeah. Love her. Okay guys, then let's talk about Louis Vuitton monogram canvas because I had so many. Like I said, like most people start their love for handbags with Louis Vuitton, right? I had at some point so many monogram pieces, I felt overwhelmed. Like when I was 16, I don't know about you guys, but I was collecting guest bags. And at some point, probably like two years later, I was like looking at all of the bags on my bed. I was like, oh my God, what did I do? And I kind of felt the same with Louis Vuitton monogram canvas or canvas in general. I never had Damier Azur, but I had a lot of Damier Eben and I had a lot of monogram, you know. And I only have two pieces left. This is one of them. This is my Neverfull MM in the World Tour. And I just wanted to have a regular, beautiful, classic Neverfull bag. Um, I got an organizer from Samorga in there. In like just the beige interior, very classic and, you know, very old school. But I wanted it to be a little bit special. Um, and that's why I chose this little 
kitty right here. <laughs> um, this is the only sticker. Obviously, you can choose to have stickers all over the back if you go for the world tour. But I only wanted this one because I thought it was cute. I think over the years, I probably sold over 10 monogram and damier band bag. So it's been quite a lot to be honest. This is for traveling. Monogram canvas is amazing for traveling simply because, you know, you can give it a dog to chew on and nothing will ever happen to it. <laughs> then we have my uh, Louis Vuitton Artsy and this is a very special Artsy because they only made like 10 or 20 pieces of those um, with the Python handle. Um, regular Artsy bags obviously come with the Vachetta handle. The new version of the Artsy also comes with a Vachetta leather um, stripe right here. Uh, I don't like the look of it, I prefer the old version. Let me show you this beautiful handle and how intricate it is. It's like, can you see that? It's almost braided. Monogram is good for traveling. You can put it, you know, under your seat on an airplane and nothing will happen to it. So. That's, that's a big plus for a canvas. Then guys, we have the latest addition to my Louis Vuitton family and I think oh, I will get more. <laughs> so this is the Capucine MM. It's originally the PM size, but they recently um, renamed this the MM size because they discontinued the actual MM size. <laughs> this is currently the Capucine MM. And guys, I definitely want more of these. I want to get one of the tiny little, you know, mini mini couple seeds, but they are so expensive nowadays. This one is black box scarf. And if you know anything about me, you know that if I would ever get a Birkin or Kelly, I want a box scarf one, well, raisin or black. <laughs> that would be the dream. So here we have the four feet, beautiful, shiny box scarf leather, the LV right here, and the highlight, obviously. Ooh, can I show you that? It's the tortoiseshell handle. This is, this is not real tortoiseshell, it's just fake. It's a tortoiseshell effect, but nonetheless, it's absolutely stunning. Okay, guys, so let's move on with Chanel. And just like I'm seeing right now, I got a lot of Chanel bags. Hi, guys, quickly, Romina from the future. <laughs> well, from the end of this video. Make sure that you make it to the end of the video because I'm actually gonna do my first giveaway. So I will be giving away these beautiful Chanel earrings once we hit 50k to one of you. So make sure you're subscribed. Just make sure that you watch to the end of the video and then I will tell you more about this. This is my Chanel Gabrielle in the old medium size. Um, I love this size. It's perfect for traveling. I took it to Japan. It's just, you know, a comfortable bag. I love to wear it like with a V, V strap style. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna show you and yeah, so this is such a rare little beauty. Um, I once had a Gabrielle in Tweed and uh, you know the Tweed was pilling really badly so it wasn't for me either. Um, but then this one came out and I was like no I need to sell my Tweed Gabrielle because I didn't love it and this was so me. <laughs> so I needed to get it. This is like a golden black metallic um, wrinkled calf skin. Oh, it's a goat skin. No, I think this one is actually goat skin, guys. This is probably, I mean, pshht, I'm not saying that <laughs> officially or anything, but this is probably one of my favorite bags. Maybe together with my Gucci brooch bag, I'm gonna show you later. But this little bag, I think, is like the princess of Chanel handbags, of bags in general. It's like rose sakura satin, and oh, I love it. Of course, you have to be careful with it, but actually not too much. I was wearing it quite a lot. So yeah, it's very important, obviously, to keep your bag stuffed. And oh, I just love this little beauty. This, guys, was my first ever Chanel handbag. I bought it in 2015, I think. Um, at the time, this was like two and a half K. <laughs> and I know that I was thinking, oh, I'm not gonna get a classic flap yet because they're like 3k, so that was so expensive. <laughs> I got this a little um, boy bag and it's in black lambskin. It is absolutely pristine still, even though I've been wearing it. And, you know, I mean, so many bags are scratched up and I don't know what people do to them, but I mean, I take good care of my bags, obviously, but look at this, you know. This is my first ever Chanel bag. Obviously, I will forever keep it because that's like Romina history as well. Okay, then are we ready for some rare, rare pieces? So, oh my god, okay, it's reflecting the light so much <laughs> that it's actually getting quite dark. Um, this is from Metidia 2019, the Egyptian collection, and 
just like so many other YouTubers, like Super Deco, my good friend <laughs> here on YouTube, you know, I think it was one of our favorite collections, if not the favorite collection like ever, the most loved collection ever that Chanel came out with. Um, and yeah, I got this little beauty um, from there. It's got black leather on the inside. It's absolutely yeah, you know, this is a real treasure. Okay guys, I would say let's stick with <laughs> the metallic Chanel beauty. So this is from Metidia 2020. Yes, that was a year after I got this one. And this is the rainbow reissue. I just, you know, I love how mine shows all the colors. Because we all know, you know, especially in the pre love market, you often find bags that were like entirely pink on the front or something like that. Because um, it was difficult to get like one that shows all the colors. Oh, I just love it. It's really, really gorgeous, really beautiful. It's got this <laughs> rainbow effect even on the inside, you know. I love it. What can I tell you? Let's move on to my most used Chanel bag ever. This is my Chanel Gabrielle backpack in the size small. And I've used this, like I said before, probably over 400 days. Because when I got this, I was literally wearing it for an entire year. Every single day it was my go-to bag. And it's been holding up so, so well. Like it's got a tiny little scratch here. Um, somebody in New York did that. They bumped into me with their pizza box. Yeah, that was uh, quite painful at the time, but you know, it's still in absolute great condition. And what I love about the Gabrielle bags, obviously, you know, they come with shiny gold, matte gold, shiny silver, matte silver, ruthenium kind of hardware. So you got everything in one. From my most used bag to my least used bag, <laughs> and probably the drama queen in my collection. So hello, everybody say hi to, yeah, I think drama queen should be her title, right? My camera just died. <laughs> So if you haven't seen the videos on this bag yet, go and check them out because it was so hard to get, then I was so happy that I got it, then, you know, after two times, four times of wearing it, it started cracking, peeling, the whole drama. You, if you know, you know. I still love it, I just wish I could wear this more often, you know? I mean, I got it because I wanted to wear it, I wanted to have a carefree, like this one. I got this, I was wearing it, I was just enjoying that I had an everyday bag that was a Chanel bag. And I thought, you know, I could uh, repeat history <laughs> and get another cool Chanel bag that I can wear every day. But yeah, no, not gonna happen. I bought it in Paris and that was my first ever trip to Paris, you know. So I keep it as a memory and I keep it as a collector's piece because it's beautiful. It's a beautiful bag, um, but yeah, the little drama queen. Then we got my Chanel Coco Handel in the, well, it was originally called mini size, but I think now they came out with an actual mini size, so this is the size more. <laughs> um, I love this, this was my wedding bag. Um, it's like a champagne gold, and it's wrinkled patent leather. So again, you don't have to worry about it. I absolutely loved it. I loved to wear it on my wedding day and I think it looked good. Then guys, a very, very special piece. So this Chanel vintage classic flap medium size in black lambskin. Oh, look how beautiful it has worn. You know, this one is just as old as me because it is from my year of birth. <laughs> so this is a 1990s bag and look at the real gold plated hardware. Look at how gorgeous and soft and smooth and subtle the lambskin is and how it has survived 32 years. I really, really like this one. Um, yeah, what can I tell you? I think it's a gorgeous little bag and it means a lot because, you know, it's as old as I am. Then we got my gorgeous go-to Chanel tote bag. This is the Chanel CC tote. This bag has been reissued for Metidia 2020 as well. And it's beautifully wrinkled as well. It's, it's kind of coated, so again, you don't need to worry about it in the rain. And yeah, I just think it's, you know, understated if you don't, if you walk around somewhere where you don't want people to notice that you wear a Chanel bag, you just wear it like this. 
um, so nobody knows anything. I just love it because this is like a vintage reissued bag as well. I always love the vintage pieces, um, but then when they brought this one out, I thought this was a better size because the vintage ones are a lot bigger actually and I think this is big enough for every day. And then last but not least we have my Chanel 31 bag and I always wanted to have a 31 and when I saw that this one came out with the flowers like I knew that I needed this and it was patent and it was just you know black patent leather <laughs> gold hardware so absolutely stunning. It is really really puffy. Oh, we can do ASMR. <laughs> it's really, really puffy. Um, it's got a strap. Again, I got kitchen roll in here. <laughs> I keep all my bags stuffed. You got a strap um, that you can carry with. It's a perfect like tote bag kind of as well, you know, um, even though it doesn't look like your classic tote. Um, but yeah, the newer version of this bag actually comes with one of these leather um, straps and then one is the classic chain strap. Um, this is like an older version where you had like two leather straps basically. What do we think about this one? Gorgeous little 31 bag, right? I think this is size medium as well for anybody who's wondering. Okay guys, I would say let's do Dior next. Hello. So this is my large lady Dior in purple. I always say it, I don't know why, it looks a lot darker on camera than it does in real life. It's a very warm purple, but it comes across as cold. <laughs> so um, I absolutely love this one. Um, you know, it really gives me like Blair Waldorf vibes every time I wear this. Um, it's got gold hardware as well. And yeah, just a really pretty a little that. Then we got my mini Lady Dior in Lotus Pearl and this one is like a shiny iridescent pink. Um, I think this color actually became one of their classic colors that's always available. But guys, every batch of these bags looks slightly different. So if you want a really like shiny sparkly one, you need to wait until one comes into the store that, you know, satisfies your uh, requirements. It's a very shiny iridescent one again i don't know if you can see it properly on screen but perfect little bag for like weddings events and, and stuff like that then we got my vintage lady dior medium size um this one is from 1996 and this bag came out in 1994 um it's already got the feet the first couple bags that came out they didn't have feet yet so it's good to have some feet obviously again look at the beautiful vintage lambskin and how gorgeously it has aged. Well, originally it had real gold plated hardware as well, however, I brought this one to the Dior spa and they reshaped it, they polished it, they exchanged the hardware for me because it was pretty scratched up. So this is the gold metal modern hardware now. I love the vintage look of these. So for my Chanel classic flap and also for the classic Lady Dior, you know, the bag, the bag that was given to Lady Diana. I don't know, I love the vintage look because it feels like this bag it's got history, which it obviously does. Next up is my large lady Dior in Royal Python. Guys, when I was 15, I saw this bag in the KDW in Germany, in Berlin. And obviously, you know, I was far, many, many years away from getting my first ever designer handbag. But I loved it so much and my mom really had to drag me out of Dior because I was just staring at this. And then years later, you know, I could actually fulfill my dream and get this bag. It is in pretty, pretty amazing condition. If you go on the pre-loved market, most of the time you find bags that, you know, have scratches on the gold and everything but mine honestly is pristine. Then let's talk about Gucci, the house of Gucci. <laughs> so you guys know I love crazy bags. I love bags with floral prints or floral embroidery, everything with flowers. And yeah, this one was absolutely made for me. Um, it's the Gucci Maman in Ruben Velvet. And this material is so beautiful and it feels so nice. Look how rich it is. I once had the classic Maman um, in just Ruben Velvet, but then when I saw that this one came out with the flowers and everything on it, I decided to get this one instead. And I sold the other one again. Because um, this one is so me, you know. 
absolutely love it. Next up guys is my most recent Gucci edition and this bag is packed full right now. It's got flowers as well so you know I mean we see a theme here right? <laughs> so this one has silver and gold hardware as well. Um, I only got one bag with silver hardware alone I show you that at the end. So this is the Gucci Dionysus. Um, this is a very special edition as well. It says blind for love <laughs> at the back and I feel like with Gucci bags there's always something hidden at the back right because the mamos have like the little heart hidden at the back and this one has this writing there so I absolutely love it guys I use this currently as my everyday bag mostly as like a single strap because it sits at a really nice height and guys it's such a practical bag you can so easily like access everything and close it again and it sits really comfortable on my shoulder as well so yeah I love this one at the moment okay next up is the jewel in my collection my Gucci brooch bag and it is a literal artwork right when I saw that this one came out like years ago I had to make sure that I get my hands on it because I was like this is forever gonna be like the bag the artwork the masterpiece in my collection again it is black box calf um, and it's got these gorgeous, you know, golden details at the front. It's got the classic Gucci bamboo handle and it's got this gorgeous chain. I hope we can see it. I, I don't know why, I absolutely love this bag. Whenever I went to like London Fashion Week, I always wore this one. I met Daphne Guinness with this one and um, even she was impressed. So <laughs> that means a lot. And then we have another recent uh, addition to my Gucci family. Oh, let me get the straps out. This is my Gucci Raja Toad. And again, I got it stuffed with kitchen roll. <laughs> this bag I got to my recent trip to Bista Village and that just shows us guys that you can find gems in an outlet, even in a Gucci outlet. So this is like a perfect everyday bag as well. It's suede and I did spray it cause you know, it's obviously, you would spray your suede shoes, right? Your suede leather shoes. So it's always a good option to spray your suede leather bag as well. It's just, it's very Gucci to me. I love the look of it. I love how casual it looks, um, but it still has like these little surprising details. Can you see that? The little um, tiger hat there, the Raja hat, and it's full of little crystals as well. Okay guys, then I would say let's look at uh, Fendi next. So I got my beautiful Fendi Picabo, um ICU right here in like black lace with like floral. I got the strap there at the back. It's PVC. Um, and lace, but it's like a floral pattern or something like that, right? It's very artistic. <laughs> so I really like this one and just like, I mean, you guys know this is kind of my style. I love lace and oh, it just looks so awesome, right? This baby is absolutely beautiful. It's got leather on the side here. My camera died again. <laughs> this video takes time to film. Um, so what was I saying? This is the back of the bag. We got the strap in there. Um, so I like to keep this side close so that it keeps its shape better and then I like to keep the front open. With Fendi bags I like to stuff them as well like for example this one the next one I'm going to show you um, it's fully stuffed. I should do it with this one as well. I think actually I could find probably some bag organizers for the ICU medium as well um, but yeah really really love this bag and then we got my grandma bag oh my god i got so many comments always on this bag like how can you have such a grandma bag i love it guys or oh it looks such so much like a curtain i love it <laughs> so this is my large classic fendi peekaboo and it's beautifully embroidered um it's even got little pearls you know um, there, I don't know if we can see it, but it's a masterpiece and this is how it looks like from the back. Um, this one I usually actually use for traveling, like when we go to New York or the Hamptons, you know. I really, really love taking this one with the strap because um, it's a good travel bag. It's good for bus trips, you know, when you take the Hampton Jitney <laughs> from New York to the Hamptons. I don't know, I just love it, guys. And I will forever keep this one in my collection as well because it's a very special piece. Okay, guys, are we ready to move on? to some more artistic bags. We will do Bulgari in a second, but first of all, let me show you my Lanvin bags. So, 
<sighs> I mean, if you've been following me for a while, you know I've fallen deeply and madly in love with Lanvin bags. And this is the Lanvin um, box cat bag, um, the classic one in black box calf leather as well with the golden cat handle and guys what is more artistic than this bag i absolutely love it and this is the one that started my long cat bag um obsession next up i got this one and this is the long hobo cat bag and guys it is such a beautiful bag and it feels so nice it's shearling this is the back of the bag, this is the front and this is the gorgeous cat handle. Here we go. So I, I don't know what to tell you, I absolutely love these bags and I think they are just artworks. Next up is this gorgeous beauty and guys, uh, I it's sparkling like crazy. Um, in in real life. It's never coming across like that on screen, maybe a little bit, but it is crazily beautiful um, in reality. And yeah, what can I tell you? I absolutely love it. This is the only bag in my collection um, with silver hardware, like entirely silver hardware. It's no gold, nothing. And that means something because I, I just don't do silver hardware. <laughs> but this one I needed in my collection. And yeah, what can I tell you? Just like this one, I think they are beautiful to display and look at. But I also wear them, definitely, no question. Yeah, let me know what you think about the Lova box cat or hobo cat bags. I think people should pay more attention to them because they are gorgeous. The next bag from Lova, I got this little happy bag right here. And guys, so when I was a teenager, I don't know, maybe again 14, 15, you know, I saw this gorgeous python happy bag. I mean, I didn't know anything about bags at the time. And I was like, wow, this is gonna be my first ever designer handbag. I really want that one. <laughs> Obviously, I never got it. But then, you know, now that I'm all grown up <laughs> and getting old, um, I actually made my dream come true by getting two Lanvin happy bags. So I know Jacob and Jessie, hi Jessie from Jessie's Style, my two good friends here on YouTube, they are saying they look like Christmas tinsel bags. <laughs> and they do. <laughs> But nonetheless, I love it. This is the bluish green one and I think it's gorgeous. And then here we have the pink Lanvin happy bag. And let me show you. So it comes obviously with a classic black bow. And there we have the little, you know, mother and child Lanvin logo. And this one actually has silver and gold hardware as well. See, so I got a couple of bags that have silver and gold hardware. Um, but only one that's entirely silver. And then let's move on to Versace. Um, this is the only Versace bag in my collection. I recently got this one as well because it's so shiny and sparkly. And I don't know why, but I'm... Ooh, I seem to be addicted to... Oh, my cat bag's almost falling. To shiny, sparkly things recently. <laughs> this little Versace bag um, comes with so many crystals. And it is just gorgeous, got this gorgeous little handle right here and it's black satin. Uh, this one doesn't have any feet, so I think you have to be a bit more careful. Um, yeah, I think a bag like this is the perfect bag for Christmas, well, for the festive season and New Year's Eve. Okay, and then I would say let's move on to Bulgari, right? The love of my life. Here we got the Bulgari Serpenti Forever, the classic one, in the size medium, in pink quartz. That's what the color is called. It's like a beautiful patent leather. And this is the um, original uh, Bulgari class. I love this bag so, so much. I This was the first ever Bulgari bag I got. And the quality, let me tell you guys. I mean, every one of you who has a Bulgari bag by now, <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. The quality is just superb. My second ever Bulgari bag was this little one here. Um, it's the Serpenti Forever and the size small in antique bronze. It's a gold, but the color is called antique bronze in case you're looking for it. So again, it's the same kind of patent leather. And uh, 
it's such a stunning bag as well it elevates any outfit like you can dress this up obviously if you go you know to an event and you wear a nice dress um, or if you just wear um, jeans and a shirt you know you can wear this as well then I got one more classic Bulgari this is the Bulgari Serpenti Forever top handle bag um, in the medium size and I got this on my trip on my last trip to Dubai and I found it at the airport and believe it or not, it was in the Bulgari boutique, it was 40% off. I love airport shopping. Um, so this again is the classic Bulgari Serpenti Forever clasp. Um, these eyes are always malachite eyes. Um, this is enamel, white and black enamel, and then we have malachite eyes. I saw this bag and I thought, you know what, it reminds me of a morning in the Dubai desert because, you know, it's these kind of colors it's just this will forever be my dubai bag then we have the bulgari cabochon bag and this is kind of modern style and the past combined in a bag um so first of all i absolutely love this pink it's a very warm soft subtle pink again and um this clasp guys is obviously different to the classic bulgari serpenti forever clasp this clasp is taken from the archives, it's called the Heritage Bulgari Clasp and I got many many bags, you know, with this little clasp, I'll show you that one in a second. Um, this is the Heritage Bulgari Clasp and this one comes with pink mother of pearl scales and it's absolutely gorgeous. All of Bulgari's hardware is um, 24 karat gold plated, so it's real gold plated just like the Chanel bags were in the past. Show me another brand that still does that nowadays, you know. You can see how rich, how strong the gold is. That's because it is gold plated actually. And um, yeah, it's got a strap and they are just beautifully made. Next up is this little cupcake and this is the Bulgari Cabochon in the um, mini size. So this is the medium actually guys and you have a small in between um, and this is the mini. This one is just absolutely adorable. Um, it comes with a strap as well that is fully attached to the bag but that's fine because you can easily just put it in the bag if you want to wear it as a tiny little clutch. So I definitely use the strap. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It sits at a really nice height and you know, it's just such a nice little bag. It can hold like a mirror, a tiny little brush, uh, your keys, so cards. I got a watch in there to <laughs> make the bag heavier so that it stands up. Then let's move on to the more artistic Bulgari bags again. I mean, they're all artworks, but I mean, you guys know what I mean when you see this one, right? This is the Bulgari um, Marie Katransu collaboration bag. This was the first collaboration they did together. I saw this and I knew I needed this. <laughs> because we all know I'm a Slytherin, you know, here's my little snake Tiffany ring. Um, and I just love snakes. This again has this beautiful golden uh, clasp, beautiful golden handle. It's a really stunning bag you can wear to events and dinner parties and just when you go shopping. Then we got this little bag. So this is from the recent collections from this year actually and it's the um, Bulgari Serpentine top handle bag and it is the same kind of archived um, clasp. Can you see? It's the same kind of style they chose here that we usually see as a clasp and now they just added this beautiful snake handle. So really really stunning bag. It has Bulgari at the back. Uh, smooth black lambskin. Um, it actually comes with a strap as well. You could attach it. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't wear this bag with a strap. It's just too stunning. I think um, to wear it as like a cross body bag. I just wear it like this. <laughs> And I absolutely love it. So um, yeah, these are my very similar, yet very not similar, <laughs> Bulgari bags with a golden snake as a top handle. And then guys, this Bulgari Serpenti Forever. This bag is entirely gold plated. So it is Karung skin, it's a water snake, um, but it's entirely gold plated. The entire bag, <laughs> not only the hardware. So, wow, <laughs> I still can't believe it. Like every time I look at it, I'm like, I can't believe it that they, you know, 
gold plated an entire bag so yeah I love it I think again one of the eye catchers in my collection and yeah I wish you guys could see it in real life because it's even more boom okay let's move on to Bottega Veneta this is my Bottega Veneta um, chain pouch <laughs> I really love this one again it's like me the color is so me <laughs> um, it's like this dark rich warm aubergine kind of eggplant purple I love it and it comes with this beautiful golden chain it's actually quite a comfortable bag when you wear it um, it's you know the chain is heavy but it sits nicely on your shoulder it doesn't hurt I love this bag and then we got this Bottega Veneta pouch this is the regular pouch um, in the regular size and yeah it is just gold and crinkled leather <laughs> I really really love it so again stuffed full with kitchen roll and it's got like a magnetic closure so yeah guys these are my Bottega bags and last but not least we have my Salvatore Ferragamo bag this is the first Salvatore Ferragamo bag in my collection I've been eyeing them for so so long um, even the vintage ones when I was in Japan they had lots of the vintage bags and I was thinking of buying one um, but I didn't at the time and then Salvatore Ferragamo brought this classic beauty back out and I have decided to go for it. So this is again classic black box calf leather. Ah, look how shiny it is um, with the gold hardware. And guys, I can already tell you now, this is not gonna be the last Salvatore Ferragamo bag in my collection. I'm sure I will add more because it's a beautiful bag. It's, you know, stunning, elegant, sophisticated. And you can still use it as an everyday bag when you run around London. So yeah, guys, I think that was the madness. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely make sure to go and check out Idol because their jewelry is just breathtaking. And no matter if you treat yourself for Christmas or, you know, you want to treat your mom or friend or your partner or your wife or your girlfriend, I think Idol is a really good choice. Guys, I love their pieces. I mean, I wear them all the time in all my vlogs you know because I actually do love them so much I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same <sighs> a luxury disease yes we do and yeah guys I see you very very soon oh and by the way if you want to take part in the draw then make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and leave a comment below by the time we hit 50k these beautiful earrings will go to one of you so you know I've barely ever worn them so they're almost like new okay guys I love you I see you again very very soon bye